When I was a boy, I had my father gave me one of those air rifles, an air rifle. He said I could shoot all the Blue Jays I want, probably knowing I'd never be able to hit one. But to always remember that it was a sin to kill a mockingbird. That is Emmy Award-winning actor Richard Thomas as the main character Atticus Finch in Aaron Sorkin's stage adaptation of Harper Lee's classic novel To Kill a Mockingbird, set in Alabama in the 1930s about a black man wrongfully accused and on trial for assaulting a white woman. The play is currently on a national tour and begins its San Francisco run tomorrow. A short run, but Richard Thomas is joining <laughs> us here today on Midday Live. Welcome to San Francisco, or should I say welcome back? Welcome back. Yes, we've been invited back. We were here for a month last year, and it was wonderful, and so we get to come back for another week. Are you excited about that? I'm always excited to come to San Francisco. Yeah, I know you've done quite a lot here, <laughs> and of course you've done a lot, period. You've done stage work, and of course TV, the yeah. Waltons, right, since the 1970s as a kid, and then the Ozark. Um, yeah, my equity you know. union card is 65 years old this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you for coming out and saying that. Um, so do you like TV on stage, because you've done so much of both? Um, I love it all. I've started doing it when I was a child, and I, I love both, but the theater is my favorite place to play, and... Uh, and with a great play like this and a great company of actors touring around the country, it's, it's just been a delight. I mean, we've been out on the road for a year and a half now. Wow. All right, so you live out of a suitcase or maybe two, I <laughs> I hope. do. Um, two suitcases and a trunk. <laughs> yeah, but To Kill a Mockingbird, you know, many of us read the play, the 1960s yeah, play, sure. which confronts racial justice, injustice, I should right. say, in America. And now the Aaron Sorkin play, written in, I think, 2018, right? That's right. Anyway, got nine Tony nominations, so it's good stuff. Um, how is it the same or different from the book that we're familiar with. Well, to, Aaron has done an amazing job of adapting Harper Lee's novel, and he, without betraying it any way, the spirit or the story, uh, he has really framed it in such a way that the, the, the way at which we look at these issues of social justice now, um, it, it is very much in the play. I mean, the, the, the lens through which we view them and, our, and what we know and feel about it now is very much a part of the way he's told the story. Without really changing anything, it's amazing. It's kind of like a wonderful magic trick um, that he's done. But th for the Atticus player, the great thing is he's taken Atticus off his pedestal and made him a man who has a lot to learn and who goes through a loss of innocence and has a great, and I think he's a, perhaps an even more approachable character mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Aaron's adaptation. And it's also a wonderfully funny play as well as he's, there, you know, he's so great with humor as well as, you know, the light and shadow are in there balanced beautifully. Yeah, perhaps even more so in the Sorkin version, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. although Matt Harper Lee's book, if you haven't, if you loved it as a kid, mm -hmm. it, it's not a YA novel. Read it as an adult. It's yeah, a I whole new you, experience. You mentioned kid. Um, I saw the disclaimer, age 12 and up appropriate. What yeah. is it? Well, I know you're a dad. What is your thought about kids seeing? Because I know there's difficult both concepts and also language in yeah. there, right? I think, it's a great, I think it's a great play for young people to see because especially when, 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 when young people hit their adolescence is when they're beginning to form their own sense of justice and fairness and community and mm -hmm. civic, you know, they begin to see themselves as citizens and members of a group. So it's, it's the perfect show, I think, for young people 12 and up to see. Um, and uh, it's... It's, it has its bracing uh, things, but I mean, you know, this is the, these, these young people are there to learn about the world, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful, I, I really recommend bringing um, young people, yeah, probably 12 and up is probably right. Okay. Like, what kind of thought do you hope uh, seeing this would provoke in the audience? And what does it provoke in you as an actor? The most important thing for me is that people are entertained. They're going to laugh, they're going to cry, they have a wonderful, full, rich, emotional experience seeing the play because it's so beautifully acted. We have wonderful, wonderful actors in the, in the, in the show. And I like that, you know, at the end of a Kill a Mockingbird, you feel good because you're on the right side of things. You're one of the good guys. But what I want people to think about when the play is over after having had a really good time in the theater is to wonder, is to interrogate where they are in the matrix of social injustice exactly in terms of whether it's their upbringing or what their what their um, uh, buried prejudices or thoughts might be and you know where 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 they stand within the situation as it exists now Richard Thomas this looks terrific thank you so much yeah. best of luck to you I guess I should say break a leg <laughs> yes thank you very much yeah and by the way we'll just show that one more time this is going to be uh, from December 13th to the 17th at the Golden Gate Theater on Taylor Street in San Francisco and you can get tickets at broadwaysf.com